Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome to our third week of our Rocky Railway Adventure. We're so happy so many of you are taking this journey with us. My name is Jasmine and I'll be introducing this week's theme and memory verse. This week's theme is Jesus' power helps us to be bold, to share and show Jesus. And if on today's Move It Monday, you're feeling a little tired and a little bit like it's a Monday, then today's memory verse is for you. It's found in Isaiah 40, 29, and it says, Jesus gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. I love that because it shows us that Jesus is gonna give us the strength and power when we need it the most. So I invite you to pray with me as we get started. Dear Jesus, thank you for promising to give us strength and power when we need it the most. And thank you for the promise that you allow us to be bold when we need it, when we need to share about you, when we need to show your love to others, even when it's difficult to do. And we pray now that you may just give us strength to learn about you, to love you more, and that you may bring us back this week to hear about all of the ways that you made people in the Bible bold and how you can make us bold as well. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Alrighty, I'll see you soon, have fun. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. To lead us, we're on the right track. Oh, 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 wide open spaces for wide open eyes. We're looking ahead for the next big surprise. Oh, 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 oh. we trust, we trust, we trust in you. Jesus up from the grave, the 
in spirit I cannot contain. All aboard! It is week three of our online BBS, and this week we are learning that Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus! Our verse for this week comes from Isaiah 49, 29, and it says, 
He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Let's say that together. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Isaiah 49, 29. This verse is such a great reminder that Jesus' power pulls us through. When we come across situations that are challenging or difficult or times that we feel scared, it reminds us that Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus! Hi guys, and welcome to another segment of Move It Monday. You know what time it is. Time to get our mats and get our water bottles and let's get moving. Are you guys ready? Come on and join me. Let's go. Thanks for joining me today. And as you guys remember, we have our friend Kayla and our friend Brianna joining us today. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our first warm up, and that's gonna be 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Are you ready? In three, two, one, let's go. Jumping jacks. Good job. These help us build nice and strong hearts. Good job, Brianna. You're jumping so well. I'm jumping. You're jumping. Where are you jumping to? To my grave. Really? Alrighty guys, we're coming to a wrap. And done. Good job. Are you guys ready? Now we're gonna start running. We're gonna pretend like we're running to our favorite spot in the world. Ready? In three, two, one. Let's go. Let's run. Yeah. Oh, are you okay, Leona? Yeah? Okay, if you need to take a little break, make sure you take a little break, guys. Okay. Caleb, how are you doing? Good. Where are you running to? Um, to school. To school. Okay, I'm running to the beach. And Brianna, you're running again. Where are you running to? I'm running to, yes, to Costco. Costco! And good job, guys! We ran in place. Now, let's come on back here, and we're going to move on to our next warm-up, which are squats. Are you ready? Ready, Caleb? Ready, Brianna? In three, two, one. Let's go. And down. And up. And down. Make sure that you are pretending like you're sitting on a chair. But there really is no chair. This helps you build nice and strong legs. We're almost done. Good job, Brianna. Caleb, you're doing an awesome job. You are doing fast. And we're good. Good job. Now, we're going to pretend like we're jumping a jump rope. Are you guys ready? In three, two, one. Let's go. What's your favorite exercise, Caleb? Um, you don't know? Do you like jumping in place? We're kind of doing that right now, aren't we? Whew. Okay, guys, you guys are doing a great job. We're almost done. This is gonna be our final workout. And in three, two, one, and we're done. High five, Caleb. High five, Brianna. Woo! Now that we're all warmed up, it is time for some locomotion games. Our first game is called Musical Station Stops. In this game, when you hear the music play, I want you to jump and to wiggle and to move as fast as you can. But when you hear the music stop, you stop. Born and Brooks families, can you show us how to play this game? So much you guys that was great now kids it is your turn when you hear the music I want you to jump as high as you can and move as fast as you can but freeze when the music stops let's try it out
That was some great moving. But don't rest yet because our next game is coming straight at us down the tracks. Before it gets here, let's review our point for the week. Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Trust Jesus! Our next game is called Ticket Jumpers. In this game, you are a jumper trying to get on a train without a ticket. You'll line up next to somebody from your house. And when the 60 seconds start, you will take with both of your feet one big leap forward. Once you land from your first jump, you're gonna wait and count as many seconds as you are old. So if you're nine years old, you will count nine seconds before you jump again. At the end of the 60 seconds, whoever has gone the furthest is the winner of Ticket Jumpers. Cole and Kaden, can you show us how to play? Cool. Thanks guys, you guys did great with Ticket Jumpers. Now it's our turn. So everyone, line up with somebody from your house and when the music starts and the 60 seconds starts counting down, you go ahead and take that big leap forward, wait the same number of seconds as you are old, and at the end of the 60 seconds, we'll see who the winner is. Remember, if you get to the end of the room, you can always turn around and race with your jumps back. Let's go. Great job, Ticket Jumpers! Everyone go ahead and catch your breath because we have one more game left. And for this game, you'll need energy both from your body and from your mind. Our last game is called Train of Thought. For this game, grab anyone that you can to help because you'll need to put your heads together to solve some puzzles while running in place. In these puzzles, you'll see a word that is missing. It's the same word for all three blanks, all in the same train of thought. And you need to figure out what that word is. But here's the catch. You need to figure it out while running in place. You can't stop running until you figure out the missing word. You have 10 seconds to find the missing word. Let's do a practice run. When the time starts, we'll start running and you'll see if you can find the missing word in this puzzle. Let's go. Did you get it? The missing word is eye. Eyelid, eyebrow, and eyelash. Now that you know how to play this game, I'll put five more puzzles on the screen and you keep running until you find the answer as a team. Let's try it out. Time's up, did you get the answer? The answer is in, inside, indoors, in two. Now remember, the puzzles are gonna get a little bit harder each time, so catch your breath and let's try the second one. Time's up. I bet a lot of you got this one and had lots of time to rest. What's the answer? The answer is tooth. Toothpaste, toothbrush, and toothache. You ready for the third one? Let's go.
And the answer is, shout it out if you know it. The answer is under, underweight, underground, and underwater. Now catch your breath because we have two more puzzles coming. Let's see if you can get this next one. Did you get the answer for our fourth puzzle in our train of thought game? The answer is life. Lifesaver, life less, life lesson. Did you get that one? We have one more left, so go ahead and start running and see if you can get this really hard puzzle. This one was our hardest one yet. Did you get it or did you have to run out the clock? The answer is pan. Pancake, pan handle, and panicky. Woo, what a game. Train of thought is not that easy if you have to run and solve some puzzles, but you did a great job. Now let's sit down, take a break, and hear from Pastor Bev what our health nugget is for this week. Hi, my friends. Pastor Bev here again with a health nugget. It's about working out. The reason for it is because moving our bodies is such an important thing that we do. It's a part of taking care of our bodies, the body that God gave us, the body that Jesus wants us to take care of. So you know what you need? At least 30 minutes a day for each person helps us stay healthy and strong. It helps our muscles grow and be strong. It actually helps our memories, remembering things that we learn and things that we can share with other people. It actually helps our sleep, which we're gonna talk about next week. It helps us sleep so much better. It also helps us be in a joyful, good mood. It's one of the most important things that we can do in our day. And working out or moving can look like anything. It can look like the exercises that we have been doing as a community together or swimming. You can swim, you can run, you can dance if you want to. God wants us to move our bodies. So there you have it, my friends. Your family challenge this week is to see on other days other than Monday, when you do the Move It Monday with us, how many days in the week can you do at least 30 minutes of moving around? That means that you do a minimum of 30 minutes. You can do more if you want to. Whatever it is that you do, remember, it's a part of taking care of God's beautiful body that God has given each and every one of us. All right, my friends, I can't wait to see how many days this week you and your entire family get to move around. Be well. Thank you so much, Pastor Bev. What a great reminder that in addition to drinking water and eating our fruits and vegetables, it is so important to move it and not just on Mondays. Kids, get to your feet for one more song. It's a new one and I know you'll enjoy it. Let's sing Lions. Today we live, today we breathe, today we know that we are strong when we are weak. Today we trust, we overcome, take every chain that kept us slaves and throw them off. We're not waiting for permission, we defy our inhibition like our middle name is fearless.
<laughs> Hello friends, welcome back. I hope you had fun. I hope you got off of that couch and that you did the motions and the movements with us and that you focused on your physical activity. Um, we thank you for being with us today. And as we pray, I just wanna invite you to really think about how Jesus's power helps us to be bold, to share and show more about Jesus. Let's have a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing us to spend some time in Move It Monday and to get a little energy out. Lord, we thank you that your power helps us to be bold, to share and show more about you. And we pray that you may please bring everybody back to learn a little bit more about you on Wisdom Wednesday. And we thank you for all of your blessings. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thank you, friends. I hope to see you soon. Bye, have a great night.